uh, to the testimony that we're hearing. This is a tactic from Liberal MPs who want to silence the witnesses. Who I are a frankly- limited amount of time. Yes. This Indigenous set-aside program is valued over a billion dollars every year. Are there other corporations that you can identify that claim to be Indigenous-led and benefiting Indigenous communities that are, in fact, just shell companies? Well, there's the Red Sky Independent Métis. There's uh, the Métis Nation of Ontario. There's the Painted Feather Woodland Métis. We have over- identified over 300 fraudulent Métis organizations that exist throughout Canada, primarily in Ontario, Quebec, British Columbia, and across this country. They are all listed on our website. They exist as corporations, such as the Red Sky Independent Métis, who sign on to resource extraction agreements and then seek to to uh, enter into resource extraction and development and economic development in, in the name of first, you know, uh, you know, indigenous engagement, but they're not indigenous. They are settlers. Thank you. Thank you. Would you be able to provide that list to the committee? Is it easy to extract as you could provide it or is it best we just look at your website? We do have a partial list. It has not been updated since September. As I said, be- I mentioned before, we operate solely on volunteers. We have absolutely no financial resources. Myself, I have dedicated. Yeah. Back it down. Thanks very much. Mr. Baines, please uh, go ahead, sir, for five. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you for both of thank you to both of our witnesses for joining us today for this uh, uh, very important study, M- uh, Mr. Chair. Before I begin my round of questions, I do have a uh, small motion to move. Um, uh, I move that, uh, given the chair made a unilateral decision to cancel the meeting on October tenth, twenty twenty four then called a meeting with less than the usual practice of forty eight hours notice during a constituency week without consulting other parties. The committee members request that the chair consult and obtain this consensus of the parties for calling meetings during constituency weeks and respect a minimum 48-hour notice period while adhering as much as possible to the committee's usual schedule. And uh, this should be in everybody's... Mr. Chair. Yep, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you, Mr. Baines. Mr. General... Yeah, uh, this is not clearly not on the matter at hand, Chair. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Baines would be well within his rights to give notice of this motion and move it uh, at the appropriate time. Uh, we have witnesses who... It's my time, Mr. Chair. Chair. I'm going uh, yeah, to interrupt both of you. Um, sorry, I'm going to interrupt both of you. Um, we're not in committee business. You do not put your notice, or notice on motion. And it's not one of, I don't believe it's one of an at-hand motion. If you want to read it into the record and then bring it up uh, Tuesday, you are welcome to. But it's not. I'd like uh, to challenge your decision there, sir. Certainly. I will have the clerk take a vote. Ms. Atwin? Overrule the chair. So you're voting against? Because the question yes. is uh, whether or not the uh, chair's ruling should be uh, sustained. Against. Against? Mr. Baines? Against. Mr. Jowari? Against. Uh, Mr. Zuberi? Against. Mr. Uh, Koto? Mr. Koto, are you there? Okay. Ms. Block? Four. Mr. Jennis? Four. Uh, Mr. Brock? In favor. Madame Vignola? On ne vous a pas entendu, Madame Vignola. On va y aller avec contre. Okay. And Mr. Backrack? Against. I think MP Koto is back. Yes, pull three and nays count six. Oh. Oh, the chair. Um, I'm he- I was here uh, when the vote was being taken. It, it, it wouldn't have mattered, right? Mr. Koto, but I- thanks. Okay. Uh, the chair's overall. Continue, Mr. I James. Should, I should. I. 
Okay. Well, it, right. it doesn't matter, Mr. Coteau. Okay. Thank you. We'll, we'll record your vote, though, so don't worry. Baines, continue. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And I believe the motion has been emailed in both languages uh, uh, to everybody's inbox. And um, are you speaking can, on uh, Baines? Yes, I'll, um, uh, I'll just briefly speak to it. Um, I, I, as you know, sir, um, uh, you know, it's very difficult for uh, people like myself from the West Coast to make our way down to Ottawa when, when we don't have the um, uh, ample amount of, of time to, to get there for some of these important studies. And, and we've seen this on a number of occasions. Um, at the same time, um, you know, constituency weeks for us are an opportunity to do extremely important work on several priorities that we are working on. And, and today, uh, especially, um, there was an interim housing uh, project, um, uh, uh, several interim housing project summits that we were working on. And, and in this, um, these kind, of, if we had enough, or if I had enough ample notice, I could have. Uh, made adjustments to those things, and it disrupted several uh, community partners' schedules. Um, and, and again, all of this work is important. I, I believe you can appreciate that. Um, so um, um, I think that uh, um, if we can uh, get to uh, an official ruling um, uh, from you on this motion um, uh, with respect to what's uh, um, stated in it, um, uh, I think it would be appreciated if you could, um, you know, follow some of the the guidelines that we are all um, uh, used to, and that are stated out for us in in the appropriate manner on how we conduct committees, and 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 the um, committee business. So uh, thank you. Okay, hey, uh, Mr. Genwis, and then Mr. Brock. And Mr. Okay, th thank you, Chair. Look, this is really, uh, really frustrating. Uh, we've all come here to work and to hear from the witnesses. I know Liberals have a have a caucus revolt to plan, I guess, but they should be uh, be willing to come to to committee, uh, ask questions to the witnesses. This is a study that we've been doing for a, for a long time. Uh, people were aware of this uh, this study happening. Uh, th this is information that we need to hear from, and frankly. Uh, you know, I, I haven't. Uh, you know, the, the motion was was just moved. It's a procedural motion, completely unrelated uh, to the testimony that we're hearing. This is a tactic from Liberal MPs who want to silence the witnesses, who are frankly calling them out. Th these are witnesses that are calling Liberals out uh, for their their grotesque mismanagement of a program that was supposed to uh, benefit Indigenous peoples. We have a witness here from the Ghost Warrior Society uh, talking about how under this government. Uh, and and willing to, to criticize all parties, but specifically highlighting how under this government uh, there's been a significant growth in in uh, in in uh, non-indigenous insiders uh, appropriating for themselves benefits that are supposed to be for uh, in, indigenous peoples. I want to hear this testimony. If government members have a response uh, to try to uh, justify or explain their failures, uh, they should be willing to engage in dialogue with this this witness. Instead, we have a procedural motion that's moved that's clearly out of order. Uh, that, that clearly could be dealt with at another time. That clearly uh, could be could be uh, discussed at a meeting next week with uh, proper notice. But we have the witnesses here. Uh, we should hear from these witnesses uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, countenancing this this liberal tactic to try to silence uh, witnesses that have been uh, critical of, uh, of of their approach. Uh, I'm surprised, very surprised, to see members of other parties uh, supporting uh, the, the government in overruling clearly a fair ruling by the chair uh, to say that, that this motion was uh, was not in order. Uh, I I, uh, I think we need to hear from these Indigenous leaders who have made the the, the time to to come to Ottawa uh, to give their feedback uh, and that are contributing constructively to our study and our work. Uh, this is uh, this is really surprising uh, to see the government in the middle of this testimony 
uh, move this motion that effectively is preventing uh, these Indigenous leaders from sharing their experience, that is preventing us from getting to the bottom of this liberal corruption within the Indigenous uh, procurement program, uh, where non-Indigenous, well-connected insiders have taken advantage of this program. Uh, so uh, with that in mind, Chair, I hope we will be able to get back to the witnesses. I'm happy to review this motion. Uh, there, there, are, uh, there may be details that, that we can discuss in it procedurally in terms of how we govern uh, our, uh, our business uh, going forward. I, I think Conservatives would be very open to a reasonable discussion of this motion, uh, but not moved at a time when it's clearly out of order, overruling the chair to say it's in order when it's not, and trying to shut down witnesses in the process. So I would now move that the committee proceed to hear from the witnesses. Thank you, Mr. Genos. That's a dilatory motion. We will take a vote. And the motion is to return to hear the witness uh, testimony. Mr. Clerk. Point oh, of order. Uh, don't we have a motion here? Um, yeah, it's a, uh, Mr. Genvis, yeah, this is a dilatory motion, dilatory. so we have to. I understand. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ms. Atwin. <clears throat> uh, Point of order. I, I don't, I think that actually this, you have to move to adjourn. It's, it's not actually a dilatory motion. I no, just you don't. It's in the book. I'm asking the, the clerk. I have read it. Uh, Thank you, you can ask questions mm -hmm. to the clerk okay. through the chair, and I've stated it's a dilatory motion, which is why we're going for, to the vote. But if you want to hear the clerk reaffirm what I've just said, go ahead yes, and please. reaffirm just what I said. <laughs> go ahead. Yes, I can reaffirm what the chair said. Uh, indeed, uh, the motion that was moved by Mr. Ginnis is uh, considered uh, a dilatory motion, which is uh, to be put forward uh, forthwith uh, <coughs> without amendment or debate. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. Take the Thank vote. you. Ms. Atwin? No. Mr. Baines? No. Mr. Jouari? No. Uh, Mr. Zuberi? No. Mr. Cotto? No. <clears throat> no. Ms. Block? Yes. Mr. Janis? Yes. Mr. Brock? Yes. Madame Vignola? Wait. Mr. Backrack. No. Uh, yes, pull four cat and yes, count six sis. Mm. Motion is defeated. Um, now on to Mr. Brock, Mr. Zabari. Point of order. Um, I just, yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to flag I lowered and raised my hand by mistake, but I still want to keep my order. Um, thank you, yeah, Mr. I was, Chair. I was getting to your name, then Mr. Jawari's. Mr. Brock, go ahead. 